I've got a tip for you today, in fact, 10 of them. And it, they are the 10 biggest mistakes that people use in remodeling. So the first one, and probably the most common, is underestimating your remodeling costs. Everybody does that. So I would suggest when you get your contractor, you nail him down in terms of costs and you don't let him change those costs. You, you put it in your contract with ironclad agreements, okay? Make sure you nail it down. The second most common error, and I think I've done this, choosing the cheapest contractor. Okay, it depends on what you're doing, but typically the cheapest isn't always the best because it can end up costing you more in the long run. So make sure when you select your contractor that you not only get a really strong contract, but you call all the references and look at their work, right? Very important. The third thing is choosing a poor floor plan. Floor plans are something you really can be very expensive to change, to mitigate the issues with floor plans. So I would say, make sure you have a decent sound uh, floor plan in the first place. But if you don't have a, a, a perfect floor plan, which none, none are really perfect, you can at least get one that it's easy to move a wall, change a wall, just take it down and open it up or whatever you want to do. But make sure anything you do to improve your floor plan is not expensive to do. Now, number four is DIY, and I was wondering what that is, do it yourself. A lot of people think do it yourself is cheaper, but what I see is typically people who do it themselves have to have it redone, and then it ends up costing a lot more money. Number five, always have a detailed budget, a really detailed budget and make sure that you bid to that budget and all of your bids are specific to, to that budget and you stay within those lines. And talking about staying within the lines, number six is have a plan, okay? That's probably the first thing you need to do. Have a detailed plan. Otherwise, how are you gonna get a budget? How are you going to get a bid? Without a perfect plan, you're not going to be able to get any of the other things that we need to get done for a remodel. Number seven is make sure you select a builder who understands your concept, your look, and everything that you're trying to accomplish. And eight goes along with it. Make sure you know the look you want. If you don't have an idea of the look you want, Go to open houses, go to magazines, go to the internet. It's like there's so much information out there. You can decide on a look you want to achieve and show that to your builder. Number nine, research the materials that are available to you. There's a lot of materials out there and there's nothing worse, because I've done it, than going out there and selecting your materials, get it in, and then go, find something else you like better, okay? So research all the materials, and that goes back to the last one, in that you look at all the materials that are available to you, all the options, go, go online, do your research, go to open houses, go to model homes, do your research. And finally, stick to your plan and get it done. You've got all these things you're gonna do. Make sure you stick to every aspect of your plan and get it all done perfectly so you're in love with your new home.